YA author Simone Elkalis released the opening installment of her three-book series, Perfect Chemistry, in 2008. Set in Chicago, this urban romance tale centers around two 18-year-olds who challenge stereotypes and discover love. Praised for its blend of humor, heartfelt moments, and gripping suspense, the novel quickly climbed the ranks, becoming a New York Times bestseller. Elkalis herself hails from the Chicago area, adding an authentic touch to the story's setting. Perfect Chemistry garnered recognition by receiving the prestigious Rita Award for Young Adult Romance, the highest accolade within the romance genre. The narrative unfolds through alternating first-person perspectives, offering insights into the minds of both protagonists. This narrative structure adds complexity and heightens the suspense throughout the story. Key themes explored in Perfect Chemistry include breaking through societal appearances, battling prejudice, embracing authenticity, and summoning the courage to embrace love that may face opposition. The novel commences with Brittany Ellis entering her chemistry class on the first day of her senior year, determined to achieve perfection in all aspects of her life. As a lifelong straight-A student, she aims to maintain her academic success during her final year of high school. From an affluent background and enjoying popularity among her peers, Brittany appears to have a charmed existence. She holds the position of cheerleading captain and is in a relationship with Colin, the star quarterback. However, beneath her seemingly perfect exterior, Brittany harbors deep unhappiness. Colin pressures her relentlessly to engage in sexual activities, despite her unpreparedness, and later, she discovers his infidelity. Further upheaval disrupts Brittany's life when she is paired with Alejandro Alex Fuentes for a project. Alex, a member of the Latino Bloods gang from the city's south side, a neighborhood Brittany actively avoids, is a muscular individual fiercely dedicated to protecting his family. Their initial encounter in the school parking lot is far from ideal, as Brittany nearly collides with Alex's motorcycle in her haste to get to class. Following a heated argument, Alex and Brittany part ways with mixed impressions of each other. Encouraged by his friends, Alex accepts a dare to approach Brittany, but the challenge goes beyond harmless flirting. His friends want him to engage in a sexual encounter with Brittany before Thanksgiving and exploit his bad boy persona to tarnish her carefully cultivated reputation. However, as Alex engages in conversation with Brittany during their lab sessions, he begins to realize that she is a more complex individual than he initially assumed. Gradually, he becomes intrigued by the intricacies of Brittany's imperfect family dynamics. Brittany's father is emotionally distant, frequently absent on supposed business trips. Her older sister, Shelley, faces physical and mental challenges, including cerebral palsy, and eventually, Brittany's mother decides to send Shelley to a medical facility. Meanwhile, Brittany develops empathy for Alex as she learns about his own life story. Alex has adopted a tough exterior out of necessity, having shouldered the responsibility of caring for his family after his father's murder when he was only six years old. While he desires to distance himself from the Latino Bloods gang, his ex-girlfriend Carmen constantly pulls him back, urging him to maintain his involvement as a means to preserve their relationship. Alex finds himself torn between his desire to protect his family, the limitations imposed by gang life, and his aspirations for a college education. Both Alex and Brittany begin to recognize that their outward personas do not fully define who they are. Brittany is more than just a beautiful face, and Alex is more than a mere tough guy. As they spend more time together, their connection deepens, and they fall in love. Ultimately, Alex wins the bet, and Brittany, shedding her virginity, but their relationship becomes far more meaningful than the superficial bet initially implied. Their relationship faces a tumultuous test when Brittany's affluent parents react with horror upon discovering her involvement with a Latino thug. Meanwhile, Alex, determined to break free from the grip of gang life, finds himself at odds with Hector, the leader of the Latino Bloods. The intricate details of Alex's home life unfold in the subsequent novels that follow his younger brothers, Carlos, Rules of Attraction, 2010, and Luis, Chain Reaction, 2011. Alex's deep desire is to shield his brothers from the perils of gang existence that claimed their father's life and continues to jeopardize his own. Pressured by Hector, Alex is coerced into participating in a dangerous drug deal. Brittany becomes aware of the situation and decides to use her sexuality to dissuade him from partaking. In a tragic turn of events, Alex's best friend, Paco, is sent in his place and tragically loses his life. 
Enraged by Alex's defiance, Hector dispatches his men to brutally assault him, leaving Alex hospitalized. The novel culminates with an epilogue set 23 years in the future, where Alex and Brittany are happily married with a son named Paco, honoring the memory of their fallen friend. The final scene depicts Paco in a chemistry class, paired with a lovely white girl, initiating a new chapter of love that transcends racial boundaries. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.